Hi, this is the part two of two video for the printer do-it-yourself capacitor replacement. And as you can see, this is a C7280, and I just replaced four capacitors in this thing. Uh, I referenced in my first video a web link that uh, talks about a gentleman who, or a per girl, guy, I don't know, somebody who had a similar problem with their printer, and they replaced them, or they replaced the swollen capacitors. They replaced three 330 microfarad capacitors and one 680 microfarad capacitor. So that's what I, uh, I thought I had the same problem as they did and the same capacitors and went to the store and bought them. And then when I came home, I realized I needed two 680s and two 330s. So I had to go back to the store. So uh, that's a good thing for you guys to check before you go to the store to get yours. And the other thing to watch for is uh, these capacitors swell when they overheat and uh, you need to ensure that the ones that your the voltage and the temperature rating and the capacitance are all better or the same as the ones that were in there originally so your new ones have to be better or the same so mine uh, the the uh, the voltage levels the replacements I got were exactly the same as the voltage levels and the temperature I got was also the same. Uh, temperature was 105 degrees Celsius. So I guess after that they start to burn up. So I got the thing all back together, and uh, it was it was fine. Um, what I did do is I nicked one of the traces when I was uh, removing the one of the capacitors, and I scraped the coating off the trace. The copper was fine, but the coating got scraped off. So to prevent it from corroding, I used uh, some clear nail polish that I got out of my wife's makeup drawer and uh, so clear nail polish make sure you do not use any colored nail polish or anything with any metallic fleck in it or anything but clear nail polish and that will prevent the uh, copper from corroding if you scrape the green protective layer off of the top of the trace so I put it all back together and ran a printer quality test the text is fine as you can see but uh, the color was uh, the pits on some of the colors the pink the blue and the orange all had lines through it so I ran the test again and it got better and again and the fourth time I ran it the lines are gone so I guess that uh, is a testament that the printer cartridge was or the print head was dirty or some something somewhere was dirty makes me think that it wasn't the actual print head but instead it was probably the, the tube or the line that goes from the print cartridge to the print head for one of the ink colors that goes in that feeds into these colors here. Anyway, final question I have is uh, this part was left over from the job. I took the printer apart a month ago and ordered the capacitors and that's how long it took to arrive and uh, now that I put the thing back together this is a spare part. Don't know what the heck it's for uh, or where it went. The printer works fine without it but if you take yours apart um, and you could take a photo of where you found this piece I'd love to know so I could get it back onto my printer. Good luck with your project, and uh, yeah, it would be great if you could tell me where this piece came from. Okay, thank you.